Here's your WNEM TV 5 news update. Good morning, everyone. I'm Blake Keller. Here's a look at the top stories we are following today. State police issuing an endangered missing advisory for this 18 month old from Flint. Wyatt Thompson, a child ward of the state, was taken without permission by his biological mother, Janelle Marie Bunstead. Wyatt was last seen about 2 p.m. on East Court Street in Flint. Wyatt weighs 22 pounds and is nearly three feet. He was in a gray winter coat with gray pants and blue shoes. Now, Bunstead is 40 years old, 5 foot 3 with black hair and blue eyes. If you know anything, please call 911. Upset parents in Pinconning voicing their concerns at a school board meeting about how the school district handled a gun incident. On January 10th, an 8th grader at Pinconning Middle School brought that gun to school after a weekend stay with a parent and forgot to take it out. Some parents say they didn't know about it until the following day. Superintendent Andy Kowalczyk says staff members handled the situation correctly and the district is looking at all aspects of student safety. Genesee County retirees could lose their health care in a matter of months. Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan notified Genesee County in December it was ending its service effective June 1st because the county notified the company and it planned to move employees to a competitor's plan. Blue Cross Blue Shield policy does not permit retiree only contract enrollment, so now the county will meet with its union partners to discuss other options. All right, here's Matthew tracking out your forecast for today into the week. Thank you, Blake. Yeah, we are tracking some snowfall as we head into your Wednesday. Everything for this Tuesday, though, is still looking to be a very easy going day. But for Wednesday, expecting a snowfall at least a couple of inches around mid Michigan. The wind that'll be picking up during the afternoon, gusting around 25 miles per hour, creating some blowing snow uh, across the roadways and some reduced visibilities. But the morning drive, the morning commute uh, and bus stops on Wednesday will be fine. It's the afternoon uh, ones where we are expecting some of those snowy roadways. That snow moves in late in the morning on Wednesday, then overspread the area, especially during the afternoon and early evening, and the heavier snowfall rates will be into the eastern thumb, also into our southern row of counties. But by the evening, that turns more scattered and then just stays isolated into Wednesday night and also on Thursday morning. So by Thursday morning, we're expecting around one to two inches into our northwestern counties. This includes places like Clare, Houghton Lake, West Branch and Rose City, two to four inches around the Tri-Cities and the Saginaw Bay. And then if you're into our southern row of counties, specifically Flint, Fenton, Grand Blanc, Lapeer and the east Eastern portions of the thumb expecting around three to five inches. Now for today again, just mostly cloudy, a small chance for a flurry, but nothing really notable for this Tuesday, a high of 35 degrees. We'll also start to cool down towards the weekend with highs into the 20s, but also tracking more snow chances after Wednesday on Friday and Sunday. But at this point, I'm keeping all eyes on Wednesday at the moment. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather, and information.